One thing I did want to show you is how I anneal aluminum. <laughs> Chances are this had been annealed in order to do the bend in it, but I don't know if anything is done with it after the fact to reharden it or anything like that. So uh, while I can bead roll this for sure right away, you see little granulation, little uh, kind of stretch marks uh, from just bead rolling it straight away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my annealing process so I know that it, it moves pretty freely. Now normally, if you look up YouTube videos, They'll say, you know, you get your oxy torch and you do a nice sooty black flame and you, you know, get some nice soot on there. And then you heat it up until all that burns away. But in reality, a Sharpie marker works in the same principle. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is mark out my tube where I'm gonna anneal it in a black Sharpie. And once it burns away, completely the color is gone it's the exact same as if the soot from a oxy torch but this is a hell of a lot more convenient so all right just got to interrupt real quick i don't think i've made it clear yet but the only purpose for the black sooty flame or the sharpie trick is just a temperature reference uh, once you get the aluminum hot enough that the soot from an oxy torch or the mark from the sharpie as soon as that disappears you know you've got the aluminum up to the temperature it needs to be in order to be quenched in order to be annealed the whole night so back to the video so i'm gonna mark it up on my area here that i'm gonna bead roll I'm gonna make myself a nice little circle there obviously pretty simple right where the bead roll is going to be and i'm gonna hit this with the map torch and after I hit it with the map torch, I have to quench that immediately. That's what does it. You'll soften aluminum by doing that. So I'm gonna just burn through this real quick, show you how it disappears, and then we'll move on. <laughs> All right, so fully nailed, fully quenched, the whole nine, we're uh, ready to roll. So I'm actually gonna crack open the WD. It's tend to be what I lube up aluminum with. very least that made that a lot faster so very little effort went into bead roll on that and that's a pretty high profile bead roll I probably could have gotten a little bit more subtle for a coolant hose Let's see if I'm in the shot there but you see that's a I mean two three times around and that's a pretty high profile bead I'm actually kind of regretting that <laughs> but you can see how easy with it being annealed, it just went fast. There was no fighting it at all. So carry on to the uh, swirl pot. <laughs> 